Using Shortcart, you can create some beautiful and really easy to implement checkout pages using the forms function inside of Shortcart, and it works extremely well with Thrive Suite, whether you're just using Thrive Architect to create a checkout or sales page to sell some digital downloads, or selling a membership or a course inside of Thrive Apprentice. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the setup of creating a form and adding it into a Thrive Architect built page, whether it be a checkout page or a sales page. We're not gonna dive too deep into the specifics of creating Shortcart forms. I'm gonna have that in another video for you, so be sure to check out the Shortcart playlist here on the channel. But we are going to set everything up for Thrive so that you can begin creating your checkout pages and building that ecosystem. Creating Shortcart forms uses the block editor inside of WordPress. So we need a way to take this form that we've created. For example, here I have one for Combology Pro, which is one of my products, and I've added pricing options, name, uh, a password field, which I'm personally extremely excited about, uh, Express Pay, credit cards, PayPal, and all those things. I've created this form, I've got it looking exactly like I want, and now I need to go and add it to one of my checkout pages. So to do that, we have to use a short code, and that's built right into Shortcart. So we're not taking any shortcuts here, we're just doing this exactly how it's meant to work. So to get that short code, once you have your form done, make sure you save your form, and then go to, on the left-hand side under Shortcart, go to Forms, and then look for where it says shortcode. And we wanna copy the shortcode next to our checkout form that we've just created. You can copy that. And now let's take it to one of our checkout pages that we've designed building Thrive Architect. So I'm going to create a simple page in WordPress and I'm going to launch Thrive Architect to start this process. Now, depending on if you're wanting to build a checkout page or a sales page, you can choose between a page that uses your theme template or you can choose a standalone page and that takes the form of, you know, honestly a couple different forms, right? You can do a completely blank page, you can do a page with your header and or footer, or you can choose a pre-built landing page. I'm gonna show you in this video the method that I use for my checkout and sales pages, um, but you can adapt it to meet your needs. Thrive is pretty flexible that way. For me, I start all of my sales pages and for that matter, my checkout pages as completely blank pages. And I do that because I want them to be standalone outside of my theme. I don't want there to be distractions of a header, despite the fact that, like I said, it's flexible and you can turn those off. I want to have those kind of distractions removed when I start building my page. So I'll choose completely blank page. And now I'm going to walk you through the mechanics of how to add this short code. Now, don't be looking for something too complex here. Like I said, it's a short code. So let's open up our element tray and let's add in a text field. I love to do this with a text field because it's so easy. And then we're going to just get rid of this default text that they added and we're just going to paste it in there. Now with this text element, what I recommend you do is go to paragraph here in this drop down section and change it to plain text. This will help us to avoid any compatibility issues. I know when I was beta testing this, this was an important step. They might patch it out, but this is still a good practice. Change the short code to plain text and leave it left aligned. During beta, when I center aligned it, I beat my head against the wall for like four days trying to figure out why this wouldn't render properly. It's because I center aligned my checkout short code. Don't do that, just leave it left aligned. In fact, don't touch anything else. That's all we have to do. So we can just see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and click save our work and preview it. All right, there we go. We have our checkout form on our page. In terms of the mechanics, we're done. But I wanna show you how you can use this short code and how we can build some pretty attractive and pretty good and functional sales pages and checkout pages using Thrive Architect. And honestly, this is why I love Thrive Architect so much. All right, so example number one is going to be the sales page. This is my sales page template. If I scroll down, it has all the sections and this is my, actually my best performing sales page. If I keep scrolling down, I'm going to embed right here the checkout form directly on my sales page. In this example here, I've just taken the short code, dropped it inside of a content box with a white background, and there it is. It's rendered beautifully right in the center of my page. Now, here's another example of one that I whipped up pretty quick. This is just a standalone checkout page. This would be pretty familiar looking if you're like a Thrivecart user or, or even a WooCommerce user that maybe created a checkout page using something like Cartflows. This is just a really nice standalone checkout page. We've got two columns here. All I did was, in fact, let me just show you that. All I did was drop my short code right here into the left-hand column. In the right-hand column, I've got some what's included sections and a nice testimonial from one of my members. And then when I go to see what the page looks like, it just renders really, really clean. And I've created some nice padding here so that it just looks really good. 
One of the things I actually like about this one is how distraction free it is. So imagine they're on a sales page or a landing page and they click to buy your product and they're taken here. There's really nothing to distract them. We've added the footer. It's actually an option right in the landing page. You can just check a box and boom, there's your footer. Um, but I like this one. This, this one might be my favorite. All right, here's another example of what you can do. So I've taken a really wide full width background section and then I've added content boxes in a column and I've shrunk the space so that they kind of stay more towards the center. On the right hand side, we have our checkout form. And on the left hand side, we have some of those familiar social proof and what's included. Now check this out. As I scroll down the form stickies because it added a scroll behavior and on the left hand side, this almost appears to kind of scroll on the left hand side and the right hand side seems to like lock at the top. I really like this because it keeps the checkout form right in view as you scroll on the left and then you can add your testimonials, your guarantees, what's included. You can basically do whatever you want on that side. Now, if we look at the back end of this example, you can see I've literally just dropped the short code again on the page, made it plain text, kept it left aligned, put it in the right column. And here on the left hand side, I've just put in all of my elements inside of a content box. Now for the short code content box that I dropped it in, I just went to scroll behavior and I chose to sticky it. And I've chosen to sticky it only on desktop because sticky doesn't work so well on mobile devices. So that's how easy it is to add a checkout form for any of your products built in Surecart directly into a sales page or even a, just a standalone checkout page built inside of Thrive Architect. Now you can use these to sell digital products or Thrive Apprentice courses and memberships, pretty much anything you want. And you have all the customization capabilities for that whole page and surrounding experience that you would for anything else you've built inside of Thrive. If you liked any of the designs that I showed you today in this video, I do have them all available as a design pack, which means you can import them and have these designs just like this on your website for editing and using with your own Surecart checkouts. If you're interested in those design packs, I'll include a link down in the description below and in the pinned comment for you to check out. But that's it for this video on Surecart and Thrive Suite. If you have any questions about Surecart, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And also be sure to check out my Surecart playlist. I have a ton of Surecart content coming out on the channel, but that'll do it for this video. See you in the next one.